your live page. All right. This, there's so many things to say here. I want to keep this as briefly, brief as possible. <laughs> but I mean, the, the lead should be, and I didn't make, uh, I didn't write a very good column, but the lead should be that, well, I did. I mean, uh, some of these situations are so right. pressure packed. I mean, a lot of people didn't react well under pressure. I'm one of them. John O'Neill's another one. Whoever the, you know, this Kissinger guy, the replay official is another one. Henry Kissinger? And thank, <laughs> thank God we didn't have to write a loss that, that yeah. where we, we didn't have to hear this, this crap. I, I was dreading that. Now, why am I dreading that? Because I, I like to see justice served. I mean, I, that, if had that overturn been on, on Friday's reception, mm -hmm. been the deciding moment in this right. game, it would have been a crime. Right. I mean, a crime. I can't explain how you look at that play and come up not only not with a confirmation, but not even the play stands. How do you overturn that? I mean, that's just incompetence. It was not the finest hour for the Big Ten officials. Who is it, Corolla? Does he have some explaining to do there, he'll, sir, at Big he'll, Ten media he'll, days? He'll, he'll, he'll He's be, pretty frank. He'll yeah. admit when they mess up. Anyway, um, fortunately, we did not have to write that. Yeah. Fortunately, James Franklin and Ricky Ronnie, the light bulb finally went off Dave, finally. above their head here's, in game you know, six. Here's some more guys. And Noah Kane became the man in the running game in the fourth quarter. And he was one of the big difference makers in the game. He's just completely, I think, head and shoulders above any other running We've back on the this. team. We've just because this. of what he can do. They're a different offense when he's on the field because they got to honor the run. It opens everything up. And he, as a freshman runner, I mean, we got to see Saquon Barkley, and he's not Saquon Barkley, but this is one really good true yeah, freshman. Yeah, he's unique in the way. Sure. I keep saying the same things. He, he is decisive. He identifies where he's going, and he goes there. Then he rips through guys' arms and legs and guys ripping at the ball in this situation. I mean, he he had guys, uh, when they finally killed the game, ripping, yeah. the, ripping the ball. I mean, he's strong. He's tough. He's <clears> explosive. <throat> he's everything you need. And if he worked, uh, he got to work more. Who knows how he would settle into it. Second straight 100-yard game. He did, he did end up with 22 carries. Amazingly, he didn't carry the ball in the third quarter. Penn State has found its finisher. That's going to be a big deal in close games when they have a lead. Because this guy, if you're a tired defense, you don't want any part of him. No. He, he, he got no. that first down. How many times would we have seen them maybe not get that first down? And the next thing you know, Ayaz got the ball back. And it's going to go down to the Look, I'm not in favor of over overworking college players. And certainly not backs. I don't want to see Lorenzo White here. Correct. But, but I would like to see a consistent 25. Maybe, maybe on the goal line, put him in the game. <laughs> Could be. Maybe in the goal 25. line, put him in the game. So, you know, this was one of the, certainly, in, in the first half play calling, I mean, a lot of putting it on Sean Clifford's arm when he was clearly a little jittery. I run think the he, ball. I you think, could have run the ball for a lot of this yeah, game. I probably made it a I, more decisive. Outcome. I think Sean's got to switch to decaf before the game because he's uh, it's understandable. Done, but yeah. I will say this: the plays he made with his legs, that 11-yard run on third and ten on the touchdown drive, one of the big plays in the game. He found a way to get it done. Let's just talk a little bit about the Penn State defense. Yes, they gave up a late touchdown. Dave, they've given up 49 points in six games, one rushing touchdown. Iowa had 2.3 yards per rush. The defensive tackles, Robert Windsor and P.J. Mustafer, beat the hell out of Nate Stanley. Out of Nate Stanley. They, he took a beating. Micah got him once. The front four took over that game. They're a fast team. Michigan had better pack a lunch next Saturday <laughs> at Beaver Stadium. I'm, te I'm telling, I love you, that. I I'm love telling that. you right Great now, this, this atmosphere and that defense – uh, there's a there's a former Penn State coach that better have a great game plan, Josh Gaddis, because <laughs> they're coming. And I, I, I'll finish with this. Like Gillick can also have a nice I, game. I think what this shows is that Penn State can win a different kind of game. Finally, they, they want a Kirk Ferentz win yes. one game. They beat they play, Kirk Ferentz. They played Kirk Ferentz at his game. own game yeah. and won 17 to 12 without any explosive plays. What right. one? One one play. And they always yards. get a lot of those. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. It'll look a lot prettier in the rear view. Purdy. I think it's <clears throat> they say Purdy out here. And it'll stead them well later on this season because they're going to gain confidence from it. Prime because time. There was all the adversity in the world. It's only going to help them in this thing. Harbaugh in prime time. I know you can't wait. I can't wait either. Shark face. He's, 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 the, he's the deadliest killer in the sea. But he's coming. He's swimming to State College. 
That's going to be uh, nighttime. Nighttime, we've got. The, Let's the do this all over again. Beaver. Anyway, I am tired, and it's not really a good time. I'm tired. Okay, man. I'm just tired. We're going to get you back to the East Coast <laughs> from, from Kinnick Stadium. Adios. It's going to be all right.